You know what time it is when you see your favorite boy with this mug. Definitely, it's time to sip, spill, and vibe. But today isn't business as usual. It's a new tag team as I have a superwoman joining me to do justice to today's agenda. And she goes by the name Ayotemi Shomolu. Before we proceed, everybody has just one question on their mind. Who's that girl? Na 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 na. <laughs> All right, so over to you, girl. How you doing? I'm Tell good. us about yourself. Hi, my name is Iris Hemi Shimulu. Mm -hmm. I'm a model. I live in Miami, but I'm currently in Lagos for the next few months. You know, having a good time. Yeah, that's how we do. We keep productive. it foreign. <laughs> we keep it foreign out here. Yeah. How are you doing? Not bad at all. Is that all you have to tell us, man? A lot of guys you want to know more. Is she single? Is she? Don't worry, I'm just messing with you. They don't need to know about that. <laughs> they don't need all to right, know about all right, that. man. It's, it's nice having you on this table. Um, how has it been so far? It's been torrid moments for a lot of Nigerians with the whole NSARS movement and all of the craziness going around in the country, the unrest and some politicians saying a lot of things which we will get to, by the mm. way. How has it been for you? How have you been able to cope? What has been your coping mechanism? Honestly, it's been really tough. I'm the kind of person that when things like that are going on, I mm. can't just sit at the background and do nothing. So I've been joining the protests, you know, mm. while they were going on, while they were still safe. You know, you know, you know. So I just felt like we need to speak up. We need to give the youth an opportunity to, you know, express themselves. And things were peaceful. So it's unfortunate that now the media and some politicians are trying to make it seem like youth are the ones that were being disruptive and youth are the now, ones I'm not that trying were to being... Ask, I'm not trying to be your co-uncle or your friend or anything. I'd just like to ask you, where do you think the protests went wrong? Where do you think we lost it all? From your, Truly? In, in your opinion or from what you've seen on social from media? From what I've seen... Right. Well, not on social media, from what I've seen on the front lines, like actually being mm -hmm. in the protest, mm -hmm. I can tell you for free, like it was peaceful. There was no issue. That I don't think the issues were the protesters. I think the issues were the looters. Mm -hmm. People that were angry, people that were hungry, people that felt like the peaceful protest is just not going to do enough because of the kind of government that we have. You know, peaceful protests might not give them the resource that they need. So people decided that, you know what, we're going to take things to the streets and do it the street way. There's a recent video going around about um, Muda Shiro, mm -hmm. the um, Lagos State Speaker. Who said, uh, let's give a one minute silence for the people who lost their lives and, um, during the Lekki massacre, but not the miscreants that died and were killed by the police? How did you feel about that statement? I appreciate the moment of silence, yes, but what more? could we do like he could have done more he could have said more he could have paid respect to many other people we, and moments of silence i just feel is just I don't not think, it okay doesn't so give. it seems um you didn't get it it said moment of silence to everyone who lost their lives and not now on the line oh, and not the miscreants that were killed by the police he so he specifically said that, said that wow. justifying the killings of certain people and saying can we have a moment of silence for some other people that is, I miss her. I completely miss what you said. Obviously, that is unacceptable. I just feel like that is flat out disrespectful. It's one thing to not say anything. It's another thing to vo be vocal that you you don't care. Mm. And that's why a lot of politicians they they're just vocal that just, they don't care about the youth. They don't mm. care about the people dying. They just don't care. I think it's very sad. All right. So yeah, it's very sad. But yeah, it's not just going to be all sadness today. Even though some things we say might just thank God also just. <laughs> but you know how we are. We're very professional, so we will keep it real with you guys. We're just going to keep it keep straight it up. Yeah, we we'll keep it. What's the word we again? We keep it cute. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> all right. So Nigerian celebrities have reacted to Desmond's Elliott speech at the state's House of Assembly session, where he talked about social media regulation while speaking on the floor of the house. The actor turned politician pushed to social media pushed for social media regulation saying nigerian celebrities and social media influencers promote hate speech in the country now hate speech in the country according to what he said is that anytime you people post what do you use your last capture we die dear so in his opinion that's the hate <laughs> speech we die dear that it doesn't have to so to them we die dear and when i go die dear so we killed you people right that's what he's trying to make it look like but let me go on elliot said he didn't believe that children on social media could be bold enough to cause and insult their leaders following the lucky shooting incident on tuesday october 20th 2020 and um this has gotten a lot of backlash from celebrities from um people i know from um 
In fact, the children that he's even talking about, he has received backlash from them again, and they're still cursing. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll be reading some reactions from celebrities. First off is Kemi Lala Akindoju, who tweeted that the respect, this respect mentality has really done a number on us in Nigeria. Honorable Desmond is more concerned about children cursing on social media than he is about better governance and true leadership. Again, he has shown us his priorities. David O tweeted, Desmond Elliot just destroyed all the precious childhood memories he gave us in movies. Yemi Alade tweeted, Desmond Elliot, you know that you represent the people. Speak for the people, not to say face. There is hunger in the land. Praise tweeted Desmond Elliot. Cancelled. And what's the cancelled sign? He cancelled. Yeah, but we can't cancel you. No, we'll yeah, still no give you. <laughs> we'll, 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 yeah, we'll, we give grace. So <laughs> we will still like you to touch on. So he was he was on a popular TV station this morning as well, where he spoke about um he well, he apologized and he was in tears and all of that, but he couldn't still make a lot of sense of the things well, he couldn't he really you know when it when you speak put your money where your mouth is right but That's man right. bro didn't put nothing where his mouth nothing. he just put his mouth where he's zero <laughs> <laughs> so but let me get your take real quick so first of all when i watched the speech that he gave right. i was very confused i'm not right. going to lie i there was no backbone like if you ask me okay what did you get from that i really like he was saying a lot of things that just didn't add up it's like okay so what is your point he mentioned things about pregnant women looting he mentioned things about youth you know being disruptive he, he just mentioned a lot of things I'm like, okay what is your point and what is the solution? Mm. I don't know what point mm. he was trying to make. And of course, people are not happy with the fact that he was kind of seeming a, very against the youth. He now said that, you know, um, culture is gone, you know, things like that. It's like, Beyond what has this got cursing. to do with anything? The issue at hand is that people are upset, the youth are upset because we're being killed, people are hungry, people are unemployed. Address things like that. Don't come and tell us that we need to be off social media. Don't tell influencers that they can't use their voice for good. Like, don't do things like that. I just feel, I, I wish he was using his platform for, he used a that platform, platform. for be, a, a better purpose. He came up, he apologized, even with the, I, we it's accept yeah, the apologies. He was emotional. Now. He was very nullivicious. Yeah. <laughs> you get. Like, he was very emotional, right? But still, what was the substance of that? those emotions? Like, mm -hmm. what was making you upset? What was, like, why were you, you crying exactly? Why were you crying? Could you back it up? Could you say, maybe I could have said this in a different way. This was yes. how I, I was supposed to have said this. I was taken out of context. I was under a lot of pressure. Exactly. So Give I said this more. that way. So I take it back. This is what I meant. We will understand. Bro mm -hmm. could not explain his own statement. How do you expect us to understand? You didn't even understand what you were That's talking the about. That's issue. That's why I was saying like there was no backbone like it, when you know the point you're trying to make you know other things to back it up he didn't know what point he was trying mm -hmm. to make so he was just saying random things and clearly he went against it was all him. over the place though if all you ask me he, he said um nigeria there won't be any nigeria in the next five years and i, I like the fact that the anchor who interviewed him earlier this morning asked him that what do you mean that there won't be Nigeria in the next five years? And he couldn't still give any, say that if we continue this way, what way? Why are we behaving this way? You spoke about pregnant women looting, talking about them putting their own bunkets, lives in danger. But what would, what would push a pregnant woman out on the street? If not because there's no proper health care. So she's not even supposed to be on the streets. Exactly. She's supposed to be somewhere being taken care of, being looked after. Mm -hmm. Now she's on the street because she has to feed herself mm -hmm. and she has to make sure that our unborn child is healthy. Exactly. So um, at the end of the day, I'm not justifying the looters. No. I'm not justifying, but we're saying that there is enough damage in the land. There is enough failure. There is enough wrong mm -hmm. being done to Nigerians. To and until to we them. address that, you have removed the log from your eye before yeah. you remove the peg from mine. Yeah. It's just that simple. Yeah. Yeah. Before you point a finger, remember four is pointing back at you. Do you understand? So, bro, just try to be more articulated. I know, I, I, I want to believe, I, I, I wouldn't say I know, I want to believe that it Desmond Elliott has good intention yes. because this is the same industry, the youth industry brought you to the limelight. We yes. probably wouldn't know a Desmond Elliott if I didn't watch his movie, if you didn't. Yes, we are the ones who watched it. Mm -hmm. You know, a David O said you destroyed childhood memories for him. So, a David O watched you growing up. We look up to him. We looked up we to you. More. We expected more. We expected you to be on our 
our side. We mm. know that politics is politics. Is politics. Yeah, you have to tool. make certain mm -hmm. decisions. Being, in fact, let's even take away politics. Being a leader on its own mm. is a very difficult mm -hmm. position. That is true. But Desmond, yeah, now you're beginning to act like <laughs> we begged you to come and serve us. You begged us. Mm. We agreed. We listened. We believed in you. Can you at least just keep the trust? That's all we ask you. That's Just keep the trust. We know you're human. We yeah, know you we make know. mistakes. We know. But we know. please. We know you need money too. We have expectations. But we need to move on. <laughs> 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 All right. So, um, took her Mackin. Well, okay, this is another sad one. Yeah. Has revealed that she recently tested positive for COVID-19. In a post shared on her Instagram page, the media personality said the experience wasn't great for her. She said she will never pray our worst enemy to go through it. She warned that the second wave of the pandemic is currently here in Nigeria. I have to stop there because <laughs> that second wave just reminded me of the politician that said that he was waiting for the second wave before sharing palliative. Now that now has told us, please, can you people well, share we'll it? People are hungry. <laughs> all right. So, um, he said it's here in Nigeria and want everyone to take all the COVID-19 protocol seriously. However, shortly after our revelation, some Nigerians took to a comment section to allege that she was paid by the federal government to claim that she had tested positive for the dreaded virus. Reacting to the allegation, the popular radio personality and TV personality and vlogger took to a Twitter page and wrote, and to the people saying, government must have paid me to say I got COVID. I know the government has effed up. You has effed you over so bad you have trust issues. I feel bad for you too. But please, me, it, please let me heal in peace. And um, we wish you a speedy recovery. I'm not one of those people that um, would want to, you know, trivialize um, somebody's plight or their sufferings and all that. COVID-19 is nothing to joke with. Anyone can get it. Yeah. I really don't want, I don't want to say, yeah, do we have a proper health care? Are they giving us the right statistics? I really don't know. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> no, I, I can say that for a fact, but I really don't know. But, yeah, there's speculation, there's conspiracy theories. But at the end of the day, all I can wish you, Tokyo Mac, and wish is human, just like me, is a speedy recovery, and I hope she gets well soon. Yes, I hope she does. Um, Actually, when she revealed the, that she had the virus, and like I liked the way that she came. She didn't come up, you know, being sad and you know depressed about mm -hmm. it. She was trying to make light of the situation. So I really sympathize with her. And I'm really like, and she uses her platform to let us know that this thing is real. Mm -hmm. However, however, however. <laughs> So after people were saying, of course, there's always going to be conspiracy theories. There's always mm. going to be people saying negative things. She then comes and says, in, and says that, okay, she comes very upset. And mm. she comes and says that, if whoever does not believe in it, I hope that you get it. Wow. That goes completely against what she said in the mm. previous video, saying that, that don't I don't wish it on my... So it's like, you should... She, you I have understand to be you're em upset. empathetic as much as you want people to empathize exactly. with you. Exactly. But, but some of them feel like, oh, um, an eye for an eye. But an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. It does. <laughs> you Especially understand? when you're a public figure. I understand public figures are humans. But like with Desmond, like everybody, you know, but there are certain expectations we have of you. Right. There are certain things you cannot say. It's particularly after she contradicted herself, mm -hmm. saying, I don't wish you on my enemy. And then she says that. It's like, but we wish you a speaker. But, 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 but like we always say, Playing the devil's advocate, um, they're human, yeah, and um, human, yeah, sure. sometimes you know you see so much trolls, you see so much hate on it's something upsetting. that is really bothering you. I can even, I know, I had a heated argument with a friend <gasps> over the pay disparity of some other companies and all of that and he was telling me things like he knew for a fact and i am in the industry where i'm talking about mm -hmm. i know how upset i was mm -hmm. when he was making it look light like i didn't know what yeah. i was saying so i can imagine when someone is now going you're coughing you're probably yeah. sneezing you you have a fever and then you now go back on the internet and you see some people saying that you're lying when i'm actually mm -hmm. shivering to type people are very insensitive so i understand so i think a lot of people should be you know don't be so quick to judge you know mm -hmm. sometimes get your facts right it's yeah. like what we had when we had a guest on the show um recently who spoke about um social media mm, and all of that yeah and fake news like and all of that so you need to fact check you yeah. need to actually know what you are jumping on don't just be a bandwagon jumping on the band mm -hmm. i wanted to say bandwagon jumper but <laughs> i don't know if there's a word like that yeah <laughs> stop know. jumping on the bandwagon sha. that's what i'm sha we trying to say <laughs> yeah don't jump on the bandwagon just get the right information put it out there yes. and let us know you know so big shout out to token mark and well, i hope you get well soon mm -hmm. and um 
Her heart goes out to you. But Tea Time continues right after this break. Stay tuned.